Recognizing that toxicity can be an issue in terms of reason for discontinuation is important. I think that the more community oncologists become accustomed to using drugs like ibrutinib and idelalisib, the better everyone gets at managing toxicity, myself included. Um, we recognize these things earlier, we develop strategies for appropriate medical management, and I actually think, you know, it's not part of our abstract, but a message here is that toxicity can be managed, and that um, in many cases patients can continue to do well if we recognize these things appropriately. But in the setting of toxicity that's unacceptable to a patient or that's medically uh, difficult to, to um, rationalize continuing the medication, that there are alternate strategies that can be considered and that fortunately, even outside of the context of clinical trials, there are drugs like ibrutinib, idelacib, for example, that are approved that one might think about using in, under those situations. But I think more importantly, in the context of clinical research, we're now going to start to explore other B-cell receptor antagonists, for example, the one that I mentioned earlier, where the toxicity profiles look to be even less so than some of the drugs we've used earlier and might offer an opportunity for efficacy with minimal toxicity.